Walmart has paid $1.4 billion to buy out hedge fund Tiger Global's investment in e-commerce firm Flipkart, the Wall Street Journal reported on Sunday, citing a letter by the hedge fund to its investors. According to the report, the transaction will value the e-commerce firm at $35 billion. To recall, Walmart had acquired a majority stake of 77% in Flipkart for about $16 billion in 2018 and later that year said it could take the company public in four years. Novo Nordisk has launched weight loss drug Wigovi in Germany, its first big European market, hoping Germans will pay hundreds of euros out of pocket for a drug that public health insurance plans are so far banned from covering. The drug is already available in the United States, but in Europe is so far on sale only in small markets Norway and Denmark. The Danish drug maker's share price has more than doubled in the two years since the drug debuted, turning Novo into Europe's second most valuable listed company. A U.S. judge on Friday shot down Johnson & Johnson's second attempt to resolve tens of thousands of lawsuits over its talk products in bankruptcy, jeopardizing a proposed $8.9 billion settlement that would stop new lawsuits from being filed. Much like its first bankruptcy gambit, the second one was dismissed because the talk lawsuits did not put the company in immediate financial distress. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission requested that Coinbase cease trading in all digital tokens except for Bitcoin prior to filing a lawsuit against the cryptocurrency exchange, according to the Financial Times. The SEC has been angling to gain more control over the crypto industry, arguing that most cryptocurrencies qualify as securities or tradable financial assets. Coinbase was sued by the SEC last month for failing to register as a broker. As Philip Capital Team, we wish you happy and healthy days.